Ciao ragazzi. Ciao ragazzi. Hi guys. Hello from uh, beautiful city of Catania. Sunny city of Catania. Sunny city of Catania. In this uh, episode, let's say, we're going to try to uh, to show you something a little bit different than uh, what usually you see in uh, all the vlogs from Catania. Different vlogs from uh, Catania. People are trying to show only the touristic parts. We will show you the touristic parts as well, but <laughs> well, we will try to navigate the dangerous neighborhoods, yeah. at least one of it, and see if it's really like they say. We did some researches and some neighborhoods, they are saying are a little bit dodgy and don't go there. Yeah. We're gonna go there. We but just want to go and see why the reputation is so bad and why uh, tourists are uh, not going there. This neighborhood, San, um, San Cristoforo. Cristoforo, is one of the oldest in uh, Catania. And it's one of the poorest areas in Catania. That's why probably people um, having, having so much struggle, they've tried to find different ways to own a living. And... Um, Sometimes it's dangerous to go because situations like so, smuggling or pockets. yeah, they are happening. Obviously, probably in the night time. That's why yeah, it's not during the night. It's not advised to go when it's night. Yeah, we don't believe it's so bad. So that's why we are trying to get there. We are, we've been here before in uh, Sicily, and for us was uh, quite least safe. So we're just trying to uh, destroy this meat. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, it's not like destroying or saying that it's really bad. This is what we have uh, read about it. Yeah, we read about this. And we just want to see with our own eyes if it's like this or not. And we will go and have a look. Yeah, I'm good. not sure how much we can record, but uh, we will try. Yeah. So, let's see how if, it goes. If we post this on uh, YouTube, this material, that means we are uh, <laughs> we are safe <laughs> we are safe and we survived <laughs> yes this is the entrance one of the entrances one of the entrances to the san cristoforo high street i think is this one yeah san cristoforo well yeah it's one of the oldest and the thing is it's quite central like it's next to the touristic yeah, area two minutes away yeah from, two streets um, away from the touristic area but yeah we're trying to see if uh, if it's safe or not i think it's safe for the tourists i think have just a bad reputation well i think i think it's important when you're coming in a city or in a country or in an area that is categorized as a poor area the most important thing is to be humble and don't try to show off yes it's First of all, I think it's, um, a res it's a respectful thing to do. And secondly, that's how you avoid attracting uh, bad situations, let's say. Because if you show off, obviously, you are attracting... <laughs> You're like a target. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, try to be humble and try to uh, blend with yeah, the area. Yeah, try to blend, yeah. With the area where uh, you are going. And try to be friendly as well, like... You know, Italians are very friendly, so uh, that's why we don't believe now it's so bad like uh, it was before. That's and why I we're think, here. I think it depends on everyone's um, perception. Yeah. Uh, how you are... Uh, how you are seeing this... Uh... Yeah, for example, you have these things here, but if you are not coming from uh, Switzerland, for example, I mean, yeah, you shouldn't come and expect everything to be like in your own country, like no rubbish or uh, no noise or I don't know, things like this. You have to take every place like it comes, like yeah. enjoy everything. I think this is about experiences, new places. Try to see the beauty beyond the dirt and beyond the graffiti or beyond these things. This street looks quite nice. And yeah, our perception about cities, it's quite different maybe from other, comparing with other people. 
we see <laughs> things that probably for others are not nice <laughs> but for us are and so, we're trying to be positive and see beauty in everything, everything. yeah yeah <laughs> just very late in the night at every minute you have a few motorbikes passing by i think very late in the night you are gonna hear some uh, shutdowns <laughs> i know i mean i don't know i see mm, i, I think that bad reputation must be something yeah but i think it's rare oh yeah it's not, not every, every night corner. or every corner because Obviously, normal people are living here as well, not just uh, the ones that are trying to make a living in a more illegal way, let's say. Ciao. Oh, yes, and this... Uh, Horn. <laughs> horns are quite normal here, because like you said yesterday, like probably... like hello. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just wanted to let you to know they are coming. Yeah, so they are... Because the traffic is so crazy, they understood that if they horn, the other driver will Must hear know them. Is yes, <laughs> yes. This building, I think it's uh, it's empty. But there are not too many left empty. I haven't oh. noticed like too many. I mean, they look rough, like this one. Obviously, it doesn't have windows, or but. There are a few here and there. Okay, let's go on this street. Okay. So yeah, we forgot to mention that we are actually very deep in the neighborhood. Yeah, we don't know exactly where we are. We don't know exactly where we are, but... We know we are here in San Cristoforo, but... Exactly, we don't know. It, it looks quiet, I mean... Not too many people on the streets, or they because they do their uh, siesta. It's uh, but no, it, it's quarter to three, three. So I think siesta is gone. <laughs> <laughs> they go back to work. Now. Maybe they are waking up to go to work again. Yeah. Yeah, have a lot of uh, abandoned cars here. Um, well, it's I don't like a scrap. <laughs> do you think they are abandoned or do this you? one definitely it is? Yeah. Yeah. You can find in this area very expensive cars and very expensive motorbikes. So it's such a contrast. <laughs> like few, not a lot, but you can find some very expensive cars and very expensive motorbikes. Right. Like that one, I think. Well, that one is so-so, but look at this van. Like, Definitely, it's not expensive, this one. It's like scrap metal, but people are using it, obviously. But we've seen some motorbikes that are really expensive. These streets here are not the most beautiful ones, but uh, they have their own charms. They have, they have their own charm, and plus this is this is how the locals are living. This is their home, so you should see the other side of the cities as well when you visit, not just the touristic center. Yeah, if, to I make think you can come here easily and visit it. Yeah, just try to be humble and not to disturb anyone. I think this is the key. Yeah. This is the culture to hang your 
your clothes outside to dry. It's not in every country, but the Italians, they are doing it. Uh, the East Portuguese Europeans are doing, are doing it. it. Portuguese people are doing it. So, and you, you have the chance to see uh, the people as they are. Another important aspect for the ladies is that everyone knows that Italian men, they love women, so they will look at you. Just don't take it personal, in a way, because they will, they will stare, not just look. <laughs> Is their way of be more just a look. <laughs> yes, they will they will stare because this is their way to recognize your beauty, your um, yeah, your it's beauty like and everything. It's a kind of appreciation. Yes, it's a kind of appreciation. Obviously, if you're coming from a Western country, you will not understand the their way of being. But yeah, they might scream saying, "Oh, Bella." I don't know about Italy, but Catania, I think everyone has at least one motorbike or one moped <laughs> in the household. <laughs> Even the, the children are using it like even 12, From these guys which are coming up. 12, 14 years old. Oh, yeah, I think from from very young age they are starting to ride the motorbike or uh, look how uh, some high heels on the window. <laughs> um, from a very young age they are. Yeah, but I'm surprised that in other countries you can't use a moped or a motorbike. And I mean, you have to be at least 16 years old or something. No? Yeah, well, I don't think so, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. Here, here is different. It's here totally is very different, different yeah. yeah. And plus, the traffic, the way of driving, it's just crazy here. Yeah, they don't have uh, rules. <laughs> I mean, there are rules, but it's like, it's like, uh, I don't know. If you need to cross the street, just don't wait for them to give you time or to stop to allow you to, because well, no, nine happened. out of 10 times, they will not stop for you. <laughs> so you need to cross the street wherever you can. <laughs> Otherwise you will wait a lot of time. Take a ride? Yes, I want to take a ride. Anything that runs, you can find it here. Old, new, small, big, everything. All kind of garbage. Kind of garbage yeah. yeah, I think it, this is the main problem. The garbage. And I think in Palermo it's the same. Or maybe worse, I don't know. We haven't been yet there. Stay tuned on our channel and if you subscribe to our channel, you're gonna see another vlog from uh, Palermo. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. But there are places where people are working, like this one, for example. So they are not only bad people here, are normal people working and trying to make a living. Yeah, it has something special, I don't know, maybe we are crazy and we like this kind of <laughs> places, neighborhoods. It's quiet, you see? Well, yeah. <laughs> it was.
yeah, uh, we survived to San Cristoforo uh, neighborhood. Yeah, I mean, today it's our second time in the neighborhood. Yesterday we've been there as well. And it's the same, like yesterday nothing happened, no one... We haven't really interacted with anyone, which I don't know if it's good or bad. But no one has anything to say to you, like... It's just like a normal neighborhood in a way. Maybe there have been bad experiences. I don't hear. I don't think uh, plenty of uh, tourists is going there. So. Yeah, not too many tourists there. Are, we haven't seen any. I mean, the the streets were quite empty, and we've seen one or two locals. But I don't think it's so. Uh, I think it's over overreacting to say that is dangerous. Yeah, maybe it was before, but yeah. not now. And like we said, if you're going in the night time, maybe yeah. Yeah, if you want to come to uh, Catania and you want to see uh, something uh, different than... Uh, the center? Center. It's not so far from the center, so we're going to take you just five to ten minutes to get yeah, there. Yeah. And you're going to see something totally different what you are seeing in the, in the city center. Mm -hmm.